Hi, my name is Jimmy Bean, and I'm a park ambassador for the public Facebook group, We Are Kit Carson Park. I've been chosen by our board to deliver our group's position regarding the highly controversial issue known as BMX in Kit Carson Park. And as a point of clarification, the BMX we are speaking about is actually known as Bicycle BMX, and is not to be confused with the motorized version. So I'll simply refer to Bicycle BMX as BMX here forward. Now for some history. In 2013, Vince McCurdy, the track owner of Kearney Moto Parks, proposed the construction of a BMX track in Kit Carson Park to the members of the Escondido City Council. This sparked an explosive response from local residents and a huge debate between the locals and the outside BMXers. Since the BMXers had been voted out of several other locations, they now wanted to bring their extreme sport to Escondido. There was little support for BMX anywhere in Escondido. Here's a pie chart that shows how the numerous speakers broke down. In actuality, the support for BMX was even smaller than depicted because of the many groups represented against BMX at the same hearing. Groups like the Autobahn Society, the gated communities at Sonata, Del Lago, to mention only a few. Here's how the pie chart would actually appear after taking groups into consideration. The end result of the public hearing was that the BMXers were encouraged to look elsewhere or build their park on non-public lands. Let's now fast forward to 2017 when several members of the Escondido City Council were poised to send a request for proposal to build and maintain a BMX track in Kit Carson Park. Amazingly, the city's chosen location to build an amusement park-like ride complete with a thousand-foot dirt racetrack, bleachers, concession stands, floodlights, PA system, and screaming kids was directly across the street from dozens of homes. And I do mean directly across the street. Are you kidding me? Here's an artist's aerial rendition of having the BMX facility at the city's chosen location. After many communications with the city council, the city manager finally acquiesced in June of 2017 by issuing an official statement that changed the venue of BMX from Kit Carson Park to Jesmond Dean Park instead. However, after receiving no responses to the city's RFQ for Jesmond Dean Park, the city decided to take another run at Kit Carson Park, this time back to using public monies and lands to promote the BMX track. And just as a side note to the Jesmond Dean story, it's interesting to note that the city's chosen location to build an amusement park-like ride at Jesmond Dean Park was once again directly across the street from Holmes, and I do mean directly across the street. One of this mayor's greatest criticism is how many times the city has been sued, and judging from the site selected for BMX, one can easily see why. There's no doubt the city would have faced a class action lawsuit once the homeowners understood that, in addition to losing their peace and tranquility, their home equity would take an instant 20% hit for being across the street from the proposed BMX monster. Here's a direct quote from a broker of 38 years experience when it comes to evaluating real estate where there are undesirable elements nearby. Let's now fast forward to 15 November 2017 to the City Council's agenda of that same date, an agenda that contained hundreds of pages of charts, illustration, budgets, and more. However, buried in this mass of pages was a controversial item added under Park Facilities, and it seemed to come out of thin air. That's right, poof, right out of thin air. No discussion, no oral argument, no document clarification, nothing. Let's now get to the heart of the matter. Why does our public group strongly oppose BMX in Kit Carson Park? There are so many reasons, let me count the ways. First, many of our members feel the city would be destroying our park, a park that consists of beautiful trails, natural habitats, an amphitheater, duck ponds, Queen Califia, and so much more. Perhaps it's time for a moratorium doing anything else in our park. We could say our number one reason we oppose BMX in Kit Carson Park is because there's currently not enough parking even when several events are active. And the City Council has already acknowledged this fact on the public record. 
But this is not our number one reason. We could say it's the fact that disc golf must be relocated to accommodate the BMX track for the location chosen. And what a shame that would be to the city's number one most successful program for people ROI. And it didn't cost the city one penny. No, that's not our number one reason. We might say it's the fact it would bring in more traffic to an already highly congested area. An area that often becomes bumper to bumper multiple times a day. And for the record, it happened to be the number one reason provided by Grant Taylor on KBBS in 2013. Grant is the president of a sister organization known as Friends of Kit Carson Park. Although indeed a very valid reason to oppose BMX in Kit Carson Park, it's not our number one reason. We could say it's the fact the increased traffic congestion to this area also increases the danger of gridlock for Fire Station 4 which is located at the entrance to our park. And this is a very real possibility, and therefore measures would have to be taken to ensure the fire engines can service their emergencies. We could say we oppose BMX because it would have to be built directly across the street from dozens of homes, and I do mean directly across the street. And at no fault of these homeowners, Besides losing their peace and tranquility, they would also suffer an instant 20% hit on their home equity. I'd say this is fertile ground for these homeowners to file a class action lawsuit against the city. And they would win. We could say we oppose BMX in Kit Carson Park because of the city's increased liability and risk associated thereof. This council seems to think that the California liability protection granted to all cities protects them to the gills. Well, that's a very naive position to take. All one has to know is a city in San Jose was sued for $1.1 million as it had to pay a teenager who became quadriplegic while riding his BMX bicycle in a public park that had an unofficial BMX track and the city had acknowledged existed. And as I recall, San Jose is part of California. Therefore, so much for the liability protections California cities thought they had. Amazingly, these exact same circumstances now exist in Jesmondine Park that existed in the city that was sued for $1.1 million. And our group wrote to the city regarding their vulnerability of having an unofficial BMX track in a public park that they themselves had acknowledged existed. Wow, look at all those negatives, any one of which could surely be enough to nix the entire idea. But collectively, one has to obviously ask the question, what could possibly offset all those negatives? Let's now add our group's number eight reason to all those previously shown. In summary, this is our number one reason why we are strongly opposed to BMX being built in Kit Carson Park, or for that matter, any public park anywhere. For two years, the city of Escondido has refused to acknowledge the proverbial elephant on the table, but here it is. Bicycle BMX is an extreme sport. It's rated in the top 10 of the most dangerous sports in the world. It's grouped together with other extreme sports such as bungee jumping, ice climbing, volcano surfing, paragliding, running with the bulls, and many others. 
Bicycle BMX injures, maims, kills, or otherwise makes quadriplegics out of young adults as young as four years old. We also think it's immoral to introduce an extreme sport to a four-year-old, not just for the injuries that might be incurred, but perhaps for the encouragement to seek other dangerous activities for the same young adult. An extreme sport has no business being in a public park, no matter what the sport, no matter where it's located, and no matter how it's funded. Public funds and lands should not be used to promote extreme sports to young adults. <laughs>